Okay, today I'm going to show you how I make some landing gear for, um, today we're going to do Spitfire. So, here we go. Um, I start off with uh, wood pieces, which I've cut out already. And uh, we're going to have to glue these together, so these are going to have to set for a little bit. So, I'm going to be breaking the video. I just use uh, wood glue, and these are two pieces that I've I cut out. One has a single hole in it, and one has a slot. And I'll have plans for all this stuff on online. Take this and I'm going to use the side that has the laser burn on it. Um, just put a little bit of glue down on it, not too thick, and then I kind of spread this around with a little piece of foam board. That, make sure you don't uh, gum up the hole too much. Just actually pull that away from there. Lay this piece on. I square it up by pushing down on the work surface all the way around and apply some pressure. That's it. And I take uh, two pieces of balsa that I have here and these are going to be kind of um, uh, to stabilize it and also give it some support when you glue it in the foam. So I do the same thing. I just take some uh, some wood glue, put it across here, not too thick, lay it on and put it as close to that single hole as you possibly can. Make sure it's straight, lined up nice, give it a little bit of pressure so it holds. Put a second piece on here. Push it up close to the hole, and nice and tight. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you're not going to see this anyway. So just want it nice and close to the hole because it's also going to help stabilize your landing gear. Okay, that's all it is to that. And we're going to set that aside and let that dry. Um, next piece is uh, the piece for the tail gear because uh, I like a steerable tail wheel. It's not scale, but um, it works and it looks pretty decent. Uh, for this, I'm going to use a little bit of CA, just your standard CA glue will work. And I just put this down a little bit around the hole there and down to the end. Don't go too far over the end. And this piece just fits right in here nice and snug. Push it down, hold it square, and that set up. And we're going to set that aside. We're going to let these parts dry, and uh, when these parts dry, we'll uh, finish the build. Okay, now our pieces are set up, um, or getting close to set up. Um, you see we each have the channels down on the bottom on each one. And our our little tail tail gear block here is set. So what uh, landing gear I use, you can bend your own, but I like using um this gear right here from uh, Park Zone from uh, Park Zone T28. Um it's already pre-bent. You can get it for like four bucks, five bucks online. Um by the time I bend the rod, get the wheels, everything, it's about the same price and this is already done. So it's a little bit faster. Um, basically what you do is each one of these channels holds one of the wheels. And you can see how it goes in there. Just pushes up through the hole, sits up in there and your uh, blocks up here kind of keep the landing gear stable. Now what I do is I just take some hot glue and uh, I fill this channel with hot glue after I put this in, put a little hot glue on the back side and everything holds in really nice. What you have to make sure is that you put one landing gear this way and the other one's got to go the opposite way. So I mean, you just got to kind of look at them so when you glue them in the plane they sit properly. Okay, I'm going to glue these in now, just kind of pull it out a little bit, run a little bit of glue down your channel here, and 
little back on this hole, the back side of the hole, and push that in. And here's a trick, don't burn yourself, just let it sit in there. Make sure it's flush, as flush as you can get it. Because that'll keep it aligned straight. Okay. Do the other one. Nice and tight. Wipe off any excess. There you go. We'll just let those two set up and we'll go from there. Now, the tail gear is a little trickier. Um, what I take is I take this little piece of straw, a um, little coffee stir, and I just slice it right down one side and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, just make the little slice on it. Then I take um, some rod and basically I just use whatever rod fits in the tail wheel I found. And uh, this little tail wheel, I'm not sure I got it at the local hobby shop. I think it was a buck or something along those lines. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bend this so it fits in here and goes up into the actual rudder of the plane. So when the rudder turns, it turns the landing gear too. And I start this off by just putting just a regular old 90 degree bend in this here. And then another one, this one doesn't quite, isn't quite 90. So you're gonna put this back at, I don't know, maybe a 45, it's not too bad. About, I don't know if you can see that, about a 45. Doesn't look bad. Okay, so that's gonna be the main part that sits in here. And I just kind of do the width of that. And that gives you a little bit of flex. Basically this top part right here is gonna fit, sit right up against your rudder, and that's gonna do your steering. Um, I bend that just a hair more. So tweak that just a little bit more. Good pair of lineman tools is always nice to have too. There we go. Okay, and now, Go back just a little bit and hold this and bend at a perfect right angle to the whole assembly. Bend that over and that's going to give us our carrier for our wheel. So I don't know if you can see that. What we're going to do is just nip off part of this right here. Just need enough so you can put some sort of wheel mount on it. And then that's kind of the way it's going to sit in there, just like that. Take the wheel back off. Now, on the Spitfire, um, the rudder's not that long where this is going to mount. Um, maybe um, a little bit. We can actually modify this a little bit. So, um, take it, bend this up. Just at a, almost a 90 degree angle, and then cut a, cut the cut some excess off. Leave maybe I don't know half inch, three quarters of an inch on that. So it looks like this, and that's actually going to push up into the rudder, and then when the rudder turns, it's going to turn the whole wheel assembly. Okay, now the reason we we're going to take this um, little stir and slice it down the center. Oh, I already did that. You slice it down the center and that's so you can get it on this without any issues. And that goes down on this little flat part right here. Okay, so that's gonna sit there. And you want a little bit of excess on the top so it can go up and sit against the rudder. Um, next we're gonna glue that to there and what I usually do is I take just a dab of hot glue here just to hold it in place and then we're going to reinforce that. And make sure that's 
lined up with the top. See how it lines up here? And we mount this in the plane. You want to make sure that's straight. It's on up and down. Then we're going to reinforce this a little bit. And what I do is I take a little piece of fabric and what I found is like recyclable bags from the grocery store work awesome for this. And just cut it on a little, little angle. I don't know if you can see that very well, but cut it on that little angle. Um, and we're just going to glue that right here so that little angle part, that the widest part, is against there. And what I'm going to do is just a little bit, a little bit of hot glue right there. And then push the fabric on top of the hot glue, kind of move it around a little bit and push it in nice and tight. And pinch it around the other side, a little more hot glue. Pull that fabric around tight on that on that little straw and pinch it so it's nice and firm and tight on there and hold that until it dries. Okay, and then what I usually do is I take a little bit, just to make this, um, this joint a little harder, so I take a little CA and I let it wick into the fabric and that's another reason you have the straw so it, you don't get the CA along the, the actual landing gear rod. And I just let it wick into the fabric around there. And this will actually harden and make it much harder than it otherwise would be. And just kind of rub it around in there. And that will take a little bit to dry. Okay. So there we have a little landing gear piece. And that's going to mount to the bottom of the plane. And that's going to go up into the rudder. And when the rudder moves, that whole assembly will move. And while well, we got a hot solder or hot glue gun here, let's we'll slide the tail gear on, tail wheel. And that's not quite straight. We'll bend that just a little bit straighter. If you don't have it straight, it won't track right. And you'll have bigger problems. Okay, slide the tail wheel on cut off whatever excess we have, leave a little bit on there to seal with. Now, put a little hot glue on the end of here. Poor man's wheel nut. And make sure that doesn't drip onto the wheel. Make sure you get a good spin on that still. Okay. Now we got to put them on the plane. Okay, here's my Spitfire. Here's the tail to it anyway. And um, we're going to mount the tail gear. It's going to go right here. And you see the wood parts cut out so it'll pretty much line up perfect on here. And what you want to do is line up this part, the pivot, with the exact pivot on the on the rudder so they they line up perfectly and um, you have to kind of eyeball this when you're lining it up and then what I usually do is I push the metal rod into the foam and hopefully we get it right so this pivot part right here lines up exactly with the hinge and we're just gonna press this in And make sure that lines up right, and it's right there. And the rudder is actually going to support the weight of the of the gear. So now we're going to take some hot glue and put a little bit right along the, where the metal rod's going to go. Careful not to put any in your hinge. And then over here with a where you're going to mount your actual gear piece. You can go up just a little bit. Be a little generous with this. We want this. To stay on. Um, there will be some a little bit of force. Line that back up with the hole. 
push it in so it sits on the rudder and let everything sit in there. Push it down. Make sure it's lined up nicely. And typically move it just a little bit to make sure nothing pulls weird. Make sure everything works nicely on it. And let's just hold it there while it sets. And let that hot glue set up. We'll be ready for the wings. And there you go. One steerable tail wheel. Now you can you see I have my wings on. The wings are a little more tricky. Um, what I like to do is I like to measure out from this um, inset, this cut in for the um, wing spar. Um, and I like to take my gear and kind of line up the go straight along the wing spar so it's basically going to go in just like this um, and you want this part of your um, of your balsa to sit right up against the spar so when you cut out the um, cut out for it to slide that in you just cut it out that width right there and uh, we're going to push that right in. We're going to hot glue this right on top of the wing. Um, it does come out of the wing just a little bit. Um, it sits out, whatever that is, about uh, less than a quarter inch. But it really doesn't seem to affect the flight. So I'm going to get that hole cut out and then um, I'll flip the video back on. Okay, I got it cut out, and one thing to mention is be careful because um, my servo wire is actually right under there, so um, be careful when you're making that cut. Uh, now basically what you do is just um, hot glue up your area that you're going to place it in. A nice little bead right here, we're on the outside, back, um, front here, that's where it's going to push into the hole. A little bit more here. Doesn't have to be a lot because cut it pretty tight. It usually holds it pretty nice. And then just push it in. And that like nice tight fit. Push it down tight. Let it sit. And there you go. It's your landing gear. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. And we'll flip it over. Okay, you can see it sits in there nice. Um, it's on there, looks like a really nice, I mean, sits pretty close to scale. Not too bad. And then, let's see if I can get a nice look at that tail wheel. There's your tail wheel. And you can see, tail wheel moves just fine. When it's on the ground, it steers just perfect. If it wasn't so nasty and windy outside, I'd taxi it around for you. Alright, thanks a lot. And um, like I said, I'll have the plans for these online.